Good evening and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about the strong nuclear force. Now atoms, the nucleus of an atom, is a very strange thing. It is full of lots of positive charges and if you take two positive charges in the normal real world situation they would repel each other but for some strange reason in the nucleus of an atom they actually stay together. This implies that there must be something else at work. There must be something else holding them together that is greater than the force that's pulling them apart because they're the same charge. And this is known as the strong nuclear force. Now the strong nuclear force explains a lot of things later on in year two, but at this point strong nuclear force is the force that actually keeps the atom together but also stops them crashing into each other. So it's a very weird force. In fact, it's so weird that it's partly repulsive and partly attractive. From distances between zero and 0.5 femtometers, remember femto is times 10 to the minus 15 meter here, it is repulsive. It is going to try and keep those atoms from crushing each other. After this, till approximately three femtometers, it is attractive. This graph here represents the strong nuclear force. You see, electrostatics, the positive charges repelling each other, looks like this. A bit more of a curve than that. This is the electrostatic force. So this is the force because they are um, positive charges trying to repel. And as you can see, the force of attraction outweighs this force of repulsion, which is why it stays together. You need to know this graph and these two numbers here, that 0.5 femtometers to three femtometers here. An analogy that has been used before to explain what the strong nuclear force is, it's like a teacher who has a class, a rowdy class. They don't want them to fight each other, so has to make sure that they keep away each other, but also doesn't want them to run around the school. So not only are they trying to keep them away from each other, they're also trying to contain them in an area. Now this three femtometers is actually quite interesting. Because this means that one proton has a strong nuclear force effect three femtometers away from it in each direction. As the earth atoms get bigger and bigger and bigger, you start having this effect that all the atoms are not affecting each other with the strong nuclear force. This means those big elements, uranium, thallium, um, not an octanium, um, samarium, the lathanides and the actinides, the large ones, they tend to be unstable because this idea of that, this strong nuclear force, all the atoms are not affecting each other. The overall, the one on the outside is not affecting the one on the inside because they're so big. And we'll talk a bit about that later when we talk about decay. The key things to take from this are this graph and these letters here. The fact that the strong nuclear force is repulsive up to 0.5 femtometers and attractive and then it asymptotes to zero.